Hello, and welcome to the last part of Ghost Trick. Let's continue, shall we? The final chapter. When was Yomil's death? It was ten years ago when the Temzik meteorite fell. We travel back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. And star the start of it all is about to replay itself. Four minutes before death. 5.26 p.m. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Eek! Now just calm down and drop that weapon! Stay back! If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! If you're threatening to shoot her, at least aim at her. Oh, kid, shoot! You might get hurt! Are you okay? You're all right now. Are you hurt? You... you saved me, mister? I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Temzik meteorite, eh? It's beautiful, looking at it from this angle. I've changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Temzik from falling from the sky, but we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. Huh? Mm. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jode? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't kill him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. Uh, we might not be able to change the fate of your dying. Uh, I can accept that. Huh? What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Beyond that will be a new feature. Okay, let's get started! <laughs> Trick time. gonna save you. If Lin would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. When her sweet potato was almost ready? Ha! Huh, she's not gonna budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder. A little girl, all alone in the park, listening to a music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? 
Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break. Anyway, if Lin isn't going to budge from that spot, then we'll have to move that fragment, have that fragment move instead. Time is passing. It's ready! Hold it! Eek! Trick time. What are you doing? You're going to hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Fate changed. Now her ears hurt a little. Look at that sweet potato! That big, scary sweet potato! That's not a sweet potato, Missile. That's Mina. Oh, oh, right, of course. But look at them! The potato and Mino! Right now, they both have the same shape! So you're saying we could swap them, huh? Good job. Good, good idea, Missile. Okay, here I go! And I'm gonna need your help. Oh, darn. I made a mistake. Oh, oh, oh. I have to fate change. Silly, silly me. Okay, let me... So much lag. I love this music so much. Oh, look, the post is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It might just hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Temzik meteorite fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in this way, then fate should change. Trick time. It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. 
look what's right in Fragment's path. Oh, okay. That giant sweet potato. If anything can get in the, well, the way, that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, now the Fragment's path ought to change. How's that? Look! The fragment's course! It changed a little! Now Yomiel's fate should really change! Wait a minute. Take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In its path? N no! Detective Jode! Temzik Fragment shot through his leg! What? But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Come on, put it down! Huh? Jode, put the gun down now! You don't! You're going to shoot him! I don't know if it's detective training or what. But even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen! Missile! The bullet is stopped mid-air! I'm here, inside the bullet! Now let's swap it with something! What? With what? Detective Joe. The meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. That's bound to hurt. Oh no. We stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save it. That's not true. Huh? Well, my fate of getting pierced through the back might not have changed. But I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. Okay, so your fate of death has changed, but still. This fate is just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we were overlooking one thing. The Wheel of Fate was still slowly turning. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Damn it! I won't work! It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. But there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we just let it play out, and then try to find another way next time? Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No. I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased, but her memory of it would remain like a scar on her physique. Hmm. I won't let that happen, not if I can help it. But what can we do now? Even if we work together? Uh, I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Cicely and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. This is my favorite song in the game. Yomiel! Sissel, your power of manipulating objects. 
Use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Alright. I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. And remember, you've only had God a split second. Now do it! Got it! Now it's your turn, Missile. What? Um, me? But what can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! You can swap them. Uh, hunk, that hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But, even if it's, I swap them, it'll still be above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Oh, okay, I'll do it. I'll swap them. It's no use! We can't stop that horrible Mino! What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped, alright. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn? You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean... That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. Ye gods! Ah, you're awake. Hey, mister, is your knee okay? Uh, oh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is that you're not hurt. Y you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? <laughs> I'm a police detective. Do you think you could call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could. B but... What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. A detective's badge? Thanks! Okay, you know what to do, little detective. Yeah, sadly. Hang on, help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. But you know, I'm glad it happened. I found this kitten. It was over there. Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. 
That's funny. Doesn't look like it's injured or anything. Poor little kitty. How about I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitty? Well, it looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Who, whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years, you were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Old friend? Mm -hmm. I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Hold it! Eek! Somebody, please look at me. Huh? Oh, kitten, shoot! You might get hurt. Somebody please reach a hand out to me. I had only just died at the time. I lost everything. My life. My memory. My body wouldn't move anymore. But I still managed to reach out a hand to him. Next thing I knew, my soul had transferred into the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as, as a cat with you for a while. After a while, the man regained his memory and went back to just being a cat. And then the man got his body back. Oh, wrong, wrong voice. I took my body back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see, just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I just missed her as she left this world. She gave me a note that said, I'm coming for you, Yomiel. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of the something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. For ten years, I wandered through the darkness with no place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light. When I 
got my revenge on Lin, I would see that light. Or at least, <laughs> that's what I tried to believe. buried in the junkyard and walked away. The black cat! I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't look very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? able to completely control her. The first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sissel inside that bag. Yes, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temsic radiation. That's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lin tonight. If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can control all kinds of things, from living to the dead. But even so, <laughs> there are some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Huh? Not only that, but I never would have just left my fiancé stay uh, dead like that. But, but you're here, ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. In any case, now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. Mm. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate. And I can just bet the fate of your the woman you loved has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, eh? Fate averted. So, Yomio, looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Huh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm glad to. Hmm? Hmm? I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling in these ten years. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness.
Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later has just been born. Right. We should get back to our new presence. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camila again! So, these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. Huh? The memories of all of us here will remain. Including the memory of what I did. My crime. Well, that's the way this game of the dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason. There is no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime of my new life. Hey, Cecil. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It'll be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life by my, with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. Mm. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomiel? <laughs> Thank you, Cecil. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomiel. Cecil? Are we... Are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we aren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll... I'll never forget you! I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you've come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Joe. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning. And now, we're each going back to our own new present. But wait! There's more! We said goodbye to the par parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Wait! Before you go back to a new present, I wanted to say thank you. Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you! Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you have forgotten again. <laughs> Thanks to you, everything has turned out as I hoped. I'm really grateful to you, Sizzle. Thank you. Mm, but don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know... Who exactly are you? <laughs> Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. changed the fate of many people tonight, the first of which was hers. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. A story of a little creature. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process...
two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached his paw toward his mistress, and that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that! The powers of the dead, but... but how? He didn't really understand himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. That's right. He, di he died in the aura of that strange energy. Ah well, it doesn't matter which voice they used for that. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there still wasn't anything he could do. In the end, he was left behind with the man in red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of the man in red's death. What? He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken ten years to be retold. So that was you, huh? That's right. I'm Missile. Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own, so you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By this time, I had grown old and my powers were weak. I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened but I became able to manipulate small objects. But, but in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out that there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do anything of the things he could do, like travel through telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power, especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. From the very beginning that I, uh, that I had this power, how did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we met before on the night the first time around. We... we what? We met before? From listening to the conversation of the true intruders in the par apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard at the edge of town. I followed the ghost world paths to the junkyard and came upon an incredible scene. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end, I can tell you. Th that was me? So, I was shot on the night of the first time around as well. 
You lost your memory at that time, too. You had just died, You and you felt confused. And you declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And then you disappeared, away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. Well, that's why I decided that this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, that right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to set uh, set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And that man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. Then you mean... That thing about ceasing to exist. Oh, that? Completely made up. <laughs> a little naughty of me, I know. But I wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh, boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. Mm. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile. I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. So you waited, and waited, these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course. Because that's what doggies do. And now, farewell, Sizzle. And so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what had really happened in this town tonight. I made my way back. Back to a new present. So, this was a good game, wasn't it? I really wish it didn't end. But, such is the way of life. Huh? How come it's dark? I'll just turn the lights on here. <laughs> Were you surprised? You bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. Yippee, it worked! But it's not even my birthday today. It was Mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made the surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. That's alright, then. After all, we're celebrating the your birth of your new position as Detective, right? Really? <laughs> Thank you, Detective Jode. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the Detective Division today. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a Detective. Huh? 
Is something wrong? You have one of those badges, too? Oh yeah, this? I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. Ha <laughs> ha, how long are you gonna keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? What's wrong with it? To me, this is the symbol of a real detective. <laughs> it's been ten years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? Yeah. And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. Aha, uh -huh. that you will. That you will. Oh, hello. I don't think you're that s Don't tell me you're that same little kitten. That's right. The very same one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's ten years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? Yep. Yep. He never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fella. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. Seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Alright, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom! I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow, too. And so we meet again, Sissel. From just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected, somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now, this is my new fate. <laughs> I guess I really am. It seems to be just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. A good game, though. Let's see what everybody else's futures are like. Or... New presents, I should say. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn! Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Hey, Missile, I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? But definitely not good. Maybe now I can be a great detective just like Inspector Cavanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for his men? It's rare to find games like this, I must say. And I think it should stay standalone. Here's your food, gentlemen. Memory, what are you still doing here? I heard you were gonna be picking new members for the Special Investigation Unit today. So you took a part-time job here again, just so you could eavesdrop. Oh 
Oh, you have no idea the lengths I go to reach my goals. really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item. Oh, but our very best customer requested it. Now good luck with the taste tester. Oh boy, I don't think I could eat another bite. Just who exactly is this very best customer anyway? Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I followed the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Wait a minute, 20 kilograms? I thought it said was 20 grams. So this is where you work, huh, Papa? That's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all that you can give me? I mean, have you heard some juicy stories? The indiscretions of a minister, perhaps? Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here's to the stodgy mind of my darling husband. Scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be forewarned, sir. Hey, Dad! Keep it together, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I just died of fright just now. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Stop the park from changing emission. Protect the rights of those who live here. Today's the day, you know. It's finally getting out. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. Then let me show you. A new dance has been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomachache. We call it Dance Away the Pain. 
Oh, I'm real interested in that one. Think you could show it to me, say, next week? You got it! games I've ever played ever, really. Huh, <laughs> saving for us. Saving complete, returning to title. So, did you guys enjoy? I hope so. In any case, it's over now. Bye. <laughs>